God, what is that? Yeah. Oh my God, what is that? guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today i am so excited about today's video because today i will be doing a full face review of the beauty bakery i am absolutely in love with the concept of this brand and i am so excited to show you guys the products that i picked up from them so this is not only a black owned brand but also i believe if not all of their products most of their products are vegan so of course i am very 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 excited again to try out their products so before we get started if you haven't already make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notification that way you don't miss any of my other posts and with all that said let's get right into the video okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and hop right into the video so the first product that I'm going to be using today is going to be the wake and bake hydrating face oil this is what it looks like I try to keep everything in its original packaging and I'll be honest that's one of my favorite things about the beauty bakery like their packaging like their packaging is so beautiful it's ridiculous and what I really like about this product is that it has like this little push button so instead of like your usual like squeeze construction for uh, a dropper this one has like a push button which makes it a lot easier to really grab onto the product so i picked up everything at ulta i didn't shop online i got everything in store at my local ulta since i did that some products weren't available to me and we'll get into that later on in the video because that's some tea but this is actually the only primer that they have on their website or in store so this is the only primer that beauty bakery has available and as you guys know i have oily skin so typically i try to stay away from baking oils like that's really not my thing it says to just um use two to three drops onto your skin so that's what i'm doing i use two um i use three drops and i'm just going to spread that on my face so i'm only going to use this as my primer today hopefully it works out in our favor it says that it is for all skin types so we gonna see about that okay so next we have the instabake aqua glass foundation so this is what the packaging looks like and it's so cute so you fold it out let me show you guys and it has the little ingredients on the side which is super duper cute and you've got this little spatula right here and then you see the product on the side so the packaging is really well thought out like it's this packaging is unmatched 110%. I did my best to try to match myself with this foundation. Again, I got this at Ulta and you know, of course with everything going on with the pandemic right now, Ulta is not allowing you to get samples, try on foundations and things of that nature. Like anything that usually like you can get a tester in at Ulta, they don't have that at the moment. It looks a little bit on the light side, but we gonna have to, we gonna have to tweak it a little bit. So on their website, it does say that this is a dewy foundation. So again, I have oily skin, so, um, you know dewy is something that i typically try to stay away from but it does say that it's full coverage it's poreless it's also vegan um i don't know if i mentioned this but the primer is also vegan it says that it is best applied with a damp blending egg sponge or your favorite foundation brush i do try to look at those things whatever the website says that you should do like with foundation and whatever you should pair it with because you know a company is going to tell you the best way to pair their product so that you can really maximize like the product's usefulness i'll be honest this is very much not giving me full coverage like um because i feel like i'm applying a good amount but this is just not screaming to me um full coverage wear also i'm really not liking the way this is sitting on my skin with the priming oil i'll be honest i feel like the oil just is not for me um it says it's for all skin types but um oh my god what is that yeah. oh my god what is that I'm not enjoying the way that this is looking right now just from like the face oil standpoint i feel like it's kind of like the foundation is kind of separating a little bit and i feel like it's maybe not full coverage maybe because like i use the oil first i don't know um i'm gonna go ahead and wash this off so i'm only going to use this as my primer today hopefully it works out in our favor psych a lot your pancakes is dropped. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to do my usual priming routine just so we can give this foundation and the concealer and everything a fair shape. So I just went in with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Um, now I'm going to be going in with my Farsali Perfecting Primer Serum. Okay, so now I'm just going to be going back in with the foundation so we will see if this improves any. Okay, yeah, so this is already making a significant difference. There's already a very big difference in the first application. Now this is giving me full coverage for sure. Like I can definitely see this being a full coverage foundation now. Before it was giving me very, very much splotchy, very much um, <laughs> patchy. Um, but I definitely think that it was the oil. 
okay so boom love the foundation it applied so much better the second time around um clearly it's a lot a little bit a lot of bit uh too light for me um it's really not a significant difference from my neck um but y'all my hand <laughs> It is definitely not matching my hand, but also my, my hand is a lot darker than my neck as well. So, of course, I will um, have to go in and um, do some cream contouring, which I usually kind of skip. Child, we can get it together. So, the next product that I'm going to be using is the Instabake 3-in-1 Full Coverage Concealer. So, this is also a full coverage concealer. It says it is 3-in-1. So, it says that it smooths, conceals, and contours. I love the concealer. Like, the concealer is 110 percent it like the foundation i feel like could definitely be buildable to be full coverage but this concealer it is 110 percent going on full coverage sometimes full coverage concealers can get a little bit cakey but this one is not like it's very smooth it's creamy like i love a, a creamy concealer you know it's blending like this blend is ridiculous like ridiculous now this looks amazing this concealer is do y'all see how smooth that is? Do you see it? No, this concealer is definitely a 10. 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for me. Um, the only thing, the only qualm that I have about this concealer is look how tiny this is. Like, <laughs> So it's 0.14 fluid ounces. And just for reference, let's go to, let's use my, um, my Juvia's Place Concealer, this is 0.34 fluid ounces. Too Faced, um, you know, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, this is a large concealer. This is 0.5 fluid ounces, so you get a whole bunch in that. And just one more for reference, your Tarte Concealer, another popular concealer, um, is 0.338. So they're all in the like 0.3 to 0.5 range. This is only 0.14, but if we're being completely honest, it doesn't even matter because I'll still be buying again. Like... <laughs> I will most definitely still be buying it again. And since I'm giving very much Casper, very much Ghost right now, <laughs> I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Espresso, as well as my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade 14.5. I think I'm gonna have to do a whole video on how to fix a foundation if it's either too light or too dark, um, because child, honestly, I never get the right shade. <laughs> like, never in my life do I get the right shade. If y'all are interested in that video of like, how to you know fix a foundation if it's too light or too dark please let me know in the comments down below because that's definitely my ministry like for sure <laughs> okay so now i'm just going to be going in and setting my makeup and i will be using the beauty bakery setting powder and honestly this is was my favorite packaging um out of all the packaging like look at it it's like a little flower bag you got your ingredients on the side and even outside of the original packaging the component for the actual like powder is super cute I got my powder in the shade cassava which is like a pale yellow um shade and i'll be completely honest like this powder this powder is it if you've been watching my channel for a minute you know that i typically um mix powder shades so i try to mix like kind of like a lighter more translucent powder with a pigmented um yellow powder but i've never just found like one powder that is the perfect shade for me and i'll be honest i feel like this is the perfect shade for me like it gives me enough yellow tint enough enough like pigment back into my skin without it being just plain yellow so the beauty bakery does not have brow products so i will have to cheat on brows as well um which is really not a big deal to me like i don't feel like i need brow products from every beauty brand if that makes sense okay so next we'll be moving on to eyes and i'll be honest i did cheat a little bit on eyes as well so the beauty bakery does have eyeshadow palettes available however i did not pick one up um because on a normal everyday basis i typically use a contour palette to do my eyeshadow anyway so that's just a little hack for uh eyeshadow and by using the same contour palette that you use on your face for your eyes it kind of just brings your whole look together i ended up just getting the brownie bar face palette um, that I'm going to be using for my contour today as well. Again, packaging is really cute. It's like a little chocolate bar. So this is another one of my favorite products from the items that I did pick up um, because I'll be honest, when it comes to contour shades, you never really get an orangey, you know, really vibrant, um, warm shade like this. Typically for a lot of contour shades, they like to give you like ashy browns or like cool tones, um, which is nice. I mean, that has its place, but I like, you know, a little pop of warmth. That's always nice, like on your cheeks to really warm up your look, which is typically what you would use a bronzer for. But as we all know, bronzer sometimes you just do not get um, dark enough shades for black women when it comes to bronzer. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's this? This ain't enough. 
make it enough so this this shade right here is really the main reason that i picked up this palette because you just don't get shades like this like this is a very warm um like russet brown for contouring and you you never get this brown like never in my life <laughs> have i seen this brown in a contour shade i'm stippling it into my crease but then i'm also kind of just bringing it up um i kind of like just like a halo effect for my eyeshadow and next i'm just going to be going in with that deeper uh, contour shade and i'm going to be using that in my outer v and then bringing it inwards in my crease and now i'm going to be going in with this highlight shade and that will be my main lid shade this is a true rich gold like with orange undertones rather than yellow like it's so freaking pretty and i really think that this is the beauty of this being a black owned brand because this is very much answering the needs of the black community this is what black women need in a contour palette i'm going to be moving on to eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Eyeliner. Again, one of the cutest types of packaging that they had. I thought the Lollipop was super cute. So this is a felt tip liner. I'll be honest, I'm really not too big on felt tip liners. They dry out really quickly. But I'll be honest, this liquid eyeliner and the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner pen are the exception. The great thing about a felt tip eyeliner is that it's perfect for beginners. Like you have a lot more control. Like it's a lot easier to hold in your hand and everything. Like it just makes the application so much easier. So if you are a new to eyeliner and eyeliner is something that stresses you out i highly recommend a felt tip pen and i really really recommend this one or the fenty beauty fly liner pen so this is easily one of my new favorite eyeliners like easy and now i'll be going in with the eyelash icing black mascara so it's got the little like squeeze tube looking packaging and then the wand looks like this i love a wand that gets like smaller towards the center i don't know why but like it really just gives your lashes that extra lift i have to use this again to really give you a uh, feedback for this just as a mascara because i've never used this just as my primary mascara on days where i don't wear lashes on an everyday basis like if i'm not wearing makeup i usually don't wear mascara but i do really like the consistency and i do really like the way that it's fanning out my lashes like it's not clumping them or anything like that because that gets super annoying okay so i just went ahead and applied some lashes again beauty bakery does not offer any lashes at this current time which again is not something that i really need from every cosmetic brand so them not having lashes is not something that i'm really upset about but now that i'm done with eyes i'm going to go ahead and move back into my contour so i'm going to go ahead and start off with that russet shade and go in with that one first now i'm just going to go in with that darker brown and i'm just going to go in with that over the other shade so now that I have kind of placed them where I want them, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and just buff that out. As far as consistency, I feel like it blends out beautifully. I'm not having to force it to blend out. It just naturally kind of spreads. Some contours you do have to like drag a little bit more, it feels like, but this one does not. It blends very well in my opinion. So now I'm just going to be going in with that highlight shade and a fan brush. And I'll just be adding that to my usual places to highlight. Do y'all see that? do you see it Oof! yeah that highlight is absolutely beautiful i feel like even in contour palettes meant for darker deeper skinned women we don't get the darker golds we still get like the pale yellow golds which are okay but they can come off sometimes ashy like on our skin tones so i love that they gave us this bright gold it is absolutely absolutely beautiful also, I did pick up the Milk and Honey palette, which is a highlighting palette. So I am quickly going to use that as well, which again, this packaging is absolutely beautiful. I love the honeycomb, like super cute. So I love that they gave us some color range on the highlighting palette. I feel like typically you get like just three different shades of gold in highlighting palettes, which is okay, but like, where's the fun in that? So you have Spoiler Alert, which is kind of like a champagne. You have be sweet which is actually really interesting it's like an orangey um highlight shade oh honey which is like a true pink but it's got some purple undertones to it and then queen being which is more of a copper type of highlighting shade um it definitely would be beautiful for deeper skin tones so i'm just gonna go in quickly with spoiler alert and I'm just going to dust that over the highlight that I already have. And I'm not surprised at all that this is beautiful as well. It's a beautiful topper to the highlight that I already have going. Do you see this? But do you see it? 
Okay, so next I'll be moving on to lips, and I picked up two different glosses from uh, the Beauty Bakery. So the first one that I got is Holy Cannoli. It's a lip gloss, but it's basically like a topper. Like it's a it's a metallic gold. It's so pretty. I don't know if like the camera is doing it justice. I don't think it is, but it's like a gold shimmer. And the next one that I got is Snickerdoodle, and this is very much a your lip but better shade. So it's kind of like a taupey like russet brown shade if that makes sense so snickerdoodle is the shade that i'm going to be wearing today but when i tell y'all i was heated when i saw the lip shades that they had available at my ulta because the beauty bakery is really not known for their glosses they're known for their lip whips like they have like a specific formula that is unique to them um, and that's really one i wanted to try and online they have all of these different rich beautiful like chocolate brown lip whips and that's really what i wanted to try but when i tell you my ulta did not have any of those options they also had some deep uh beautiful reds that i wanted to try they had none of them like absolutely none of them and it's sad because typically whenever you go to certain ultas or certain walmart you won't have all of the shades that a brand has to offer available to you i really like i mean i can't say for sure that this is what's happening but i really believe it's based on demographics and even though this is a black owned brand um i feel like definitely some of the shades were kind of censored at my ulta um i've run into this before like when it comes to certain like foundation shades at walmart um certain foundation shades just will not be available to me like at um, my Walmart back at home which again is in a predominantly white area whereas at school at the Walmart that I'm at is um, in between a predominantly white school and it's also in between my HBCU so it has a good mix of foundation shades so I can't say for sure that that's what's happening but I definitely notice a difference at my Walmart at school versus my Walmart at home so I really do think that's what's happening so I was a little bit disappointed that I couldn't get the shades that I really wanted because they have some beautiful vibrant like beautiful 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 lip whip shades and I definitely was planning on buying like seven of them I'm really sad that I'm you know showing you guys a lip gloss because I feel like their lip whips are definitely what they're known for but whenever you guys get a chance make sure that you definitely check those out because I will definitely be doing the same um and I might even do like a haul of like just their lip whips if you guys are interested in seeing that um, just let me know in the comments down below but that definitely sounds like uh, something I might have to do because my ulta was playing. So I'm just going to start off by lining my lips and I'm going to go in with the NYX lingerie push up um, lipstick. So I use this as a lip liner because I don't know about y'all but like those typical lip liners like the like really thin um, surface just does not do it for me like I have like a thick line and I have big lips so i need a little bit more surface area so now that i've lined my lips i'm gonna go in with snickerdoodle and i don't know if y'all can see it but this is almost like exactly <laughs> my lip shade like it's ridiculous it's so pretty and their gloss has also has like a really nice consistency like it's not super thick i'm actually partial to like thick lip glosses i know a lot of people don't like that um but i do like it but there's just kind of like a medium type of build it's not super thick or sticky it's just a very smooth um gloss and it's very comfortable on your lips too okay so the last product that i have to show you guys today is the always spray your sweet grace baking spray again packaging is super cute it's like you know supposed to be like a like a, a pan spray like super cute packaging i'll go ahead and talk to you guys about the product before i actually spray it so it doesn't have an overwhelming scent but there's something about the formula that makes you kind of like choke on this setting spray a little bit. I really can't explain it. It's like something about like the actual formula of the spray that it's like it just kind of grabs onto your nostrils. I know that that sounds really weird but uh, that's the best way that I can explain it. Specifically like if you have asthma or something like that I just feel like this might not be like the right product for you. I don't know if that would actually like affect you but sometimes like I feel like I can't breathe spraying this on my face i don't know but just like if you do have asthma it's just something to look out for um it might not negatively affect you but just like something to consider the overall scent of the like setting spray is not bad at all and i also feel like it gives you a pretty good set um i don't know it's just something about like the texture of the spray like it just kind of has like a a choky type feel to it i don't <laughs> i don't know i can't explain it any better than that so final thoughts when it comes to the beauty bakery i absolutely loved it i felt like the packaging is absolutely so cute i love the idea of like a little beauty bakery like i would love to walk into like 
a bakery shop and actually see you know makeup products i love the idea i love the packaging everything was so cute so well thought out however like, even the products that weren't my favorite i absolutely like didn't hate and i will still use because even the baking oil which is probably like my least favorite product um it says on the website that you can use this on your nails and it has like a couple other uh applications that you can use it for so i'll definitely still be getting my money's worth out of it overall everything about this brand just seems to be so well thought out and like perfectly executed as a black woman sometimes in makeup it is easy to feel like you know left out especially when it comes to shades but i feel like of course this being a black owned brand um i felt very included i feel like there's a great shade range um there's always room for improvement with any brand but i feel like this brand definitely hit the nail on the head well that is all for this video today guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you like this type of video if you like the full face of a single brand uh type of video i would definitely do more for you guys also let me know if you guys want me to do that um try on haul for the lip whips for the beauty bakery because i'm definitely interested in doing that but as always thank you so much for tuning in if you like this video make sure that you give it a big thumbs up as well as comment down below what you liked about it and of course if you have not already make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on your bell notifications that way you never miss any of my other posts and i'll see you guys in my next one bye